Hi there, I'm Miles Peterson, and you're watching a 3D Engineer. And as requested, here I am with my next mini siren. This is my dual-headed Harry Ritchie Model 50 Super Cyrix. This is a really cool siren with a fully functioning rotator, two heads, two horns, a big shroud between the two horns, and uh, two different uh, port ratios, both 7 and 10. This is a 7-10 port unit. So yeah, also following along with my single head unit, I will show you that when I'm going through an overview with this guy. But yeah, it's just a really, really awesome siren, and I'm a really big fan of 710 port, so I decided to print mine in that. But yeah, over about a month of printing, I did have to iron out some bugs, uh, such as scraping with the rotors, uh, you know, rotator problems. Those bugs have been ironed out. So and yeah, here's this awesome new siren, and I'm really excited to sound this off and show this to you guys today. So without further wait, let's get to an overview and test of the siren. Here we are up close with the miniature Harry O'Ritchie. Uh, here we are. This is my dual horned unit. Oh, let me bring down my my single head unit. Here it is. Uh, this is also 710 port single head. Uh, this is based off of the unit in Hamilton, Ohio. But yeah, these two guys, very similar. They're at the same scale. Uh, really the only difference here is the kind of motor this uses. This uses a 500 motor. Uh, this uses a dual shaft 390 motor that is in the motor cover up there, if I can show you there. That, uh, there's a slip ring that goes up to the motor. The slip ring is wired up in the rotator with two DC to DC buck converters. Now, that's not really too important, but basically those are basically motor speed controllers. Uh, power comes in. They're also voltage regulating. Uh, and power comes out. Uh, the Rotator speed is adjustable, the siren's pitch is adjustable, so yeah, and same story with the single head unit. I have a video of this guy if you're interested to, uh, you know, for more details on this, but basically they actually use the same rotators, just some small modifications really with like the type of motors it uses and the, you know, the port combinations, they're, they're a bit different, but yeah, they're the same scale, both one eighth scale, so you know, yeah, an eighth the size of the real thing. They're huge! Like, compared to my other 8th scale sirens, these, these guys are pretty huge. Now, setting the single head unit aside, let's focus on this guy here. We've got our two tones, we've got seven, you can see those seven screws there. And here's your 10 port side. Let's see, let's get you a look in there. That's your 10 port. And, as always, your seven. Yep, I did not MSLA resin print rotors for this, I was just having... I was just having trouble uh, for whatever reason on that printer at the time, so I decided to just FDM print these rotors with my filament printer, and they came out great. Although I highly recommend resin printing rotors. If you guys have a resin printer, it's, it's really nice. Uh, this guy uses resin printed rotors. They came out in just stunning quality. Anyway, let's focus on the design here. You've got your horn brackets. Uh, this just attaches to uh, the stator and shroud with an M2 screw. This is a pretty long one. Then I got an M2 screw attaching it to the horn, which does stick on the inside a bit there. But yeah, that's that's how this guy works, and same story with this, although this one actually uses number two screws uh, rather than M2s. M2 screws will work fine, you know, the, they're very similar in size, so they'll, they'll both work for these. But at the time of me making this, I was out of number two screws, so I decided to just go with M2 screws. All right, now that's that's this siren uh, in a nutshell. I know a lot of you guys are probably wanting to print one of these yourself, so for those interested, uh, 3D files are completely free to download on Tinkercad with an account. Many different port ratios and head combinations are also available, such as 9 and 10 port single tone, and uh, both single and dual head models. Big thanks to a couple of my subscribers, uh, Otter Valley Productions and Milk Models on YouTube. Otter Valley Productions printed my 9.9 port uh, dual head model, so big shout out to him, he he did an awesome job on that. And uh, Milk Models actually made this exact model, my 710 port single head unit. So massive thanks to you guys, you are awesome. Now anyway, uh, shout outs are out of the way, uh, overviews are out of the way, I know you guys want to hear this thing and I do too, so let's not keep you guys waiting. Here we are, everything is set up, I've got my decibel reader right here up close to the siren to give you guys an idea of just how loud it is up close. Uh, now, what's really cool about this is that since it's dual tone and it's a dual head model, uh, as it rotates, you get this really cool uh, wavering sound between the 7 and 10 port pitches, and you'll hear that. When uh, the 10 port head is facing the camera, you'll hear a 10 port tone, uh, more prominent to the 7 port, and uh, vice versa with the 7. So, that's just a really cool 
uh, thing I'd like to add that the siren produces. The sound it makes is pretty ear piercing. Now the wind up on this sucker is pretty quick, much quicker to that of my Model 15 unit, uh, and that's thanks to the powerful 390 motor it uses. Uh, the wind down's also pretty quick, especially compared to the single head unit, and that's just because the, the shaft is a bit tighter. Uh, but it still uses two rotors, two weighted rotors, so uh, I made that the best that I could. Alright, here we go. Short alert. <laughs> Wow, I felt that one. All right, let's do a short attack for y'all. Love this guy. <laughs> well, there you guys have it. That was a quick overview and test of my dual-headed Hario Ritchie Model 50 Super Cyrix. Again, if you're looking into printing your own, uh, 3D files are available to download and print for free on Tinkercad. On Tinkercad, you'll also be able to find all my other mini sirens, some of which are up there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just if you guys are uh, liking this video, uh, subscription to the channel would really help me out. I'm Miles Peterson, and you guys stay creative.